This is David Caballero from Game Reactor Spain. We are covering Game Lab 2014. It's a sunny day in Barcelona, so it's a perfect time for being the, for the first time in Barcelona, correct, Alex? Yeah, first time. I'm really happy to be here. Are you enjoying, uh, I don't know, the weather and, and the music as well? Uh, well, I just arrived, actually, and after the conference, I'm hoping to have some time to explore the city. Okay. So talking about the music, uh, obviously, you, this year, uh, you have uh, this Disney Fantasia, Music Evolved. At E3, you presented the game again, and it's coming out in October, if I'm correct? That's right, yes, October. Um, what's the main difference? Because there are two versions, uh, one for the Xbox 360 and one for the Xbox One. What's the main difference we're getting on, on the gameplay, do you, maybe, maybe due to Kinect differences? Uh, in most respects, the game is the same on the two platforms, but of course, uh, on the Xbox One, we have more ability to just make the experience more visually beautiful. And not regarding uh, motion controls, there's no difference in that? Well, of course, the new version of Kinect with Xbox One is uh, more sensitive and more sophisticated, which gives us ability to uh, observe some more subtle nuances of player motion and whatnot. But if we want the experience to be mostly the same across the two platforms, and so uh, we work, the basic experience works within the constraints of the Xbox 360 and Kinect, and then we just uh, plus it up on the new, new platform in various ways. What about the art style and the music selection? Uh, maybe you've heard uh, someone saying that this is not Fantasia. Uh, what do you think about that? Mm, I, I don't agree, of course. Sure. I mean, there was a, a, a music of, uh, you know, the original Fantasia film included a mix of classical music as well as music of the time. And uh, this uh, version of Fantasia does the same. It's a mix of classical music and music of the day and everything in between, uh, really centuries span of music. And I think the idea, you know, we had an opportunity with Disney to look at Walt's original notes uh, about his creative intention with the original film. And, uh, you know, the core creative idea is about connecting music and image uh, in imagination. And that's an, a, a creative idea that uh, covers all kinds of music and we want to capture that bridge bet between different styles of music in this game in the same way that Walt tried to in the original. And you act as a wizard doing that. That's right. In the game, you, you, the player enters a world of Fantasia and acts as a sorcerer's apprentice. And in this world, uh, music and magic are the same force. And by learning the, this magical power, you also are learning the power to command and control and change music. Okay, but that's not the only game you're preparing right now. Right before you have the Dance Central Spotlight, which uh, was just announced at E3, uh, which are the new main, uh, new features, main new features we're getting with the game? Uh, well, first of all, of course, because it's on the Xbox One, it can be more beautiful, which is a lot of fun. Um, also, in this game, there are, uh, you know, unlike the past, there where there was basically one set of choreography for each song, in Dance Central Spotlight, you can pick many, many different types of choreography and routines for each song, so you can customize the play experience to, whether, to you, what you want. If you want something very light and casual, that's great. If you want something more intense and flashy, you can do that. How do you play that? If you want to, I play more casual, unless I'm drunk. Can't believe it. And then I try to get more fancy. Um, and then also fitness routines, so you can play if you want to get in shape by playing you can do that too. Um, the other thing is in the past uh, it took a very long time from when a song was popular to when we could get it prepared for release in the game. That's a new tech you're preparing correct? That's right now we have some new technology that allows us to get new songs into the game very very quickly so the moment a song gets hot on the charts we can very quickly uh, get a license and get it into the song so you can be dancing to the hottest songs in, in the moment. But that's uh, a digital release only, uh, there's no physical uh, lounge, uh, so uh, um, I don't know, maybe uh, previous Dance Central games were like a perfect gift and, and you, uh, you know, walk uh, to the shop and, and, and get the game and as a gift. Uh, how are you feeling that difference now? Do you think it's a risk, a business risk, or, or do you think people is going to use it and, 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 as a, and buying it digitally and, and getting new songs all the way? 
Uh, so we feel great about the digital release because it allows us to release the game at a very, very low price point. We haven't set a final price yet, but it will be, you know, what you would expect for a digital title with uh, 10 songs included. And the idea here is that it's a low price point, so easy for anyone to try and start playing. And also, you can then customize the soundtrack to the songs you most want to play. Um, you know, people's tastes in music vary widely, and so by offering a low price core product and the ability to expand with music that you love, then everyone can be having the dance experience that they is most exciting for them. Okay, uh, you're talking about uh, harmonics history uh, in your next panel uh, today. Um, what about the transition we made from you know plastic peripherals and instruments to motion control without anything, with no no controller at all? Uh, so at Harmonix, we're we're always trying to think of what what is the what is this idea music game? What does it mean to mix the emotional power of music with the emotional power of play and interactivity? And that can take many many forms. So of course, in the past we have done like an instrument performance simulation, and we will in the future bring this kind of play experience back. And then another version of that was dance, and now a new version of that with Fantasia is this kind of rhythmic gestural spell casting, and then a manipulation of music. And and now we also have many new ideas that kind of early in development uh, for what this idea of music games means that we'll bring in the future also. How are you planning to get that experience back? Uh, what? The instruments one. Uh, well, of course, we think about it all the time because we love rock bands, and, and now we're waiting for just the right moment in the, n in the new generation of consoles to bring it back. So then I don't ask you about anything you would love to do with uh, you know, the Guitar Hero or Rock Band concept and you couldn't do because that's what you're doing in the future. Uh, certainly, as I said, we, you know, at Harmonix we love Rock Band and uh, you know, someday when the time is right we will, we will want to bring it back. And aside from those uh, two core concepts, you, you mentioned the instrument one and, the, and the, you know, the, the, uh, the experience with your body. Is there anything in between you're trying right now? Well, uh, I don't know if you've seen, but we recently uh, kick-started a sequel to Amplitude, a classic uh, con controller-based uh, rhythm action game. Yeah, that we, we love that game, and for more than 10 years we've wanted to bring it back, so now we're hard at work on bringing that back as well. So we, we're, we have high hopes for that title. Okay, last one. Uh, we've talked about Kinect and new technology, but now recently it was announced that it's not uh, uh, bundled onto the Xbox One uh, like there are two versions now, you mm -hmm. can get the console without Kinect. Yeah. What do you think about that since it's a so important part of your, of your two experiences you're bringing out this year? Uh, well, I view it as Harmonix's responsibility to make games that are exciting enough that people, if they have to buy the peripheral to play the game, that they will do so. You know, in the last generation on the Xbox 360, the Kinect also was sold separately from the Xbox 360, but still millions of people bought the Kinect and to, played our dance game. And so our hope is that but with between Dance Central and the Fantasia Music Evolved that people will have enough motivation, even if they did not buy the Kinect with their console, they will have a motivation to get it uh, to play. Hopefully. Um, maybe a lot of young developers are attending your speech later today to get some cool ideas about the music genre. Uh, what's the main uh, th advice you're giving them? Mm. Well, maybe no one thing, but uh, one, one basic idea is just uh, stay humble. And it's very, uh, you know, you of course have to be driven by a creative passion of an idea that uh, you want desperately to make. But it's really important that you uh, remain aware that uh, maybe your idea is not quite right. And you need, to, um, you need to go early to your audience and invite them to have a dialogue with you and have your audience help you shape the vision of what you're trying to create f for them. That's really nice. Thank you very much and keep enjoying music. Yeah, thank you so much.